Hello and welcome. I'm Saeed from StoryPlanet.net. Dive right into the essence of the most captivating books without reading them cover to cover. Whether you're on the go, at the gym, or just relaxing at home, we offer you a unique and enriching listening experience. Today, we are exploring the book, Flawless Consulting, a creation by Peter Block. Flawless Consulting, 2nd edition, 2000, offers a comprehensive guide on the consulting process, suitable for new consultants and business professionals engaging with consultants. Learn how to effectively navigate consultant-client relationships with this detailed resource. Before we delve into these revelations, it's interesting to note that Peter Block, a renowned American consultant, is the author of numerous books on consulting, empowerment, and social issues. In 2008, he was honored with the Lifetime Achievement Award by the Organization Development Network. With seven key ideas to unveil, brace yourself for a deep dive into this captivating book on StoryPlanet.net. To start, learn skills and strategies of top consultants to benefit yourself. Consultants play a crucial role in helping struggling businesses through advising and teaching, but they cannot solve all problems instantly. Consultants focus on practicing what they preach, spend time communicating, and use meetings effectively as important tools in their work. Key idea number one. Emphasizes importance of being rational, but acknowledges interpersonal dynamics and emotions as more beneficial. Managers often prioritize being rational, but this is not always the best approach for consultants. Consulting involves both technical and interpersonal aspects. Consultants need to understand emotional dynamics to truly grasp and solve problems. Introducing efficiency tools requires personal adjustments from individuals. Consultants should not ignore their feelings and instincts, but rather use them to improve understanding and communication, ultimately leading to building better teams. Key idea number two, top consultants should demonstrate authenticity by both preaching and practicing their advice. It is essential to follow your own guidance to maintain credibility. Consultants have limited power, but can advise and motivate. To be effective, they need to be open, honest, and practice what they preach. Behaving poorly is unproductive and can hinder the ability to influence others positively. By demonstrating understanding and incorporating feedback, consultants can be more successful in implementing new ideas and gaining respect and cooperation. Key idea number three. Consultants are independent advisors and not meant to act as substitute managers. Consultants and managers are both crucial in problem solving. While consultants can provide quick solutions, managers are essential for implementing these solutions and ensuring organizational learning. Consultants should have independence to analyze objectively, whereas some clients may want solutions without understanding the underlying issues. A consultant's expertise can uncover root problems, leading to more effective and cost-efficient solutions. Key idea number four, new jobs should be approached methodically in stages to find a successful solution. Consulting engagements involve stages, contracting, discovery and data collection, and implementing solutions. In the contracting phase, consultant and client establish project scope and expectations. Data collection involves thorough analysis, while the final stage is about implementing solutions, gathering feedback, and gaining employee buy-in. Consulting isn't just technical problem solving, it also includes winning people's confidence and getting them to implement solutions. Key idea number five. Resistance is a common reaction during consulting. It is important to acknowledge and address it head on. Consultants face resistance when implementing changes at a company. People may resist change due to fear or discomfort with new ideas. Resistance can be observed through questioning or non-verbal cues like lack of eye contact. Dealing with resistance involves open discussion, using neutral language, and giving clients the opportunity to express their concerns so that explanations can be provided. This can help neutralize resistance and facilitate understanding and acceptance of proposed changes. Key idea number six, creating space for others to share their fears is crucial for effective communication. Effective communication is crucial in consulting to convey ideas successfully. 
Logic alone may not be sufficient to sway emotions. As a consultant, engaging with people's feelings is important for building trust. Encouraging open communication, both privately and in public meetings, allows for addressing concerns and gathering valuable feedback. Implementing new ideas, such as new software, requires understanding and addressing employees' doubts through dialogue and reassurance. Open communication is the cornerstone of successful consulting. Key idea number seven. The main role of a great consultant is to empower a company to become self-sufficient and no longer rely on their services. Good consulting is likened to raising a child, addressing initial issues to foster independent problem-solving. Consultants aim to make a significant impact quickly, requiring team support for successful outcomes. Involving staff in decision-making is crucial to implementation success. Failure to do so results in ineffective changes. Consultants strive to empower clients to function autonomously, eventually making their role unnecessary. The goal is to teach clients to handle future challenges independently despite initial difficulty in transitioning. In conclusion, consulting involves objectively analyzing a business and creating lasting change to empower clients to solve future problems independently. Further reading suggested is Million Dollar Consulting by Alan Weiss, which offers tools to succeed in the consulting industry and grow a consulting business into a million dollar venture. Feedback is welcome at rememberstoryplanet.net. Thank you for listening to this summary. If you enjoyed this exploration, we invite you to discover other fascinating books on storyplanet.net. Don't wait any longer. A multitude of books, stories and knowledge await you there. See you soon on storyplanet.net.